Hi everybody, painters and decorators of the internet. I've got, I just needed to speak to somebody because I've got a little bit of a frustration. I've been on a job this week and um, the customer um, asked for ceiling walls white. Now as soon as anybody mentions white to me, you cringe don't you? Because you just think of white, oh how boring. But no, we went to the job, got some white, ordered Ticarilla Optiva 5 because that's what we like to use, Optiva 5, it's all priced for in the job. And um, ceiling and walls, gets to the job, it's been a while since we've actually seen it and um, the ceilings were white, but the walls were an off-white colour. And when I mean off-white, I'm not, I'm not talking about magnolia, I'm talking about just an off-white, not even as dark as almond white. It, pale just an off-white a soft white off-white now because Tickerill hadn't got any Optiva 5 in the sent us a different product a bit more expensive don't know how much it is I know Optiva 5 is not cheap but it's more expensive than Optiva 5 so you can imagine right what what product did we get sent this Lumi well I feel like going Lumi Umi you know Lumi Umi Lumi extra white said so, brilliant product right I'm gonna say brilliant product what am I pulling that face for right goes on lovely flows out nicely no brush marks there's no flashing there's no picture framing you know did the ceiling did the coving with this went round two coats lovely Left the job last night, still drying. We all commented, said, well, that went on really nice, didn't need to thin it. It's thin enough to go on nicely. Got nice brushes, got nice rollers. We coated it all up. First coat was a little bit suspect over this off-white color. And again, it's not a deep color. It's not magnolia. It's probably even paler, gardenia, on off-white. Gets there this morning, I walks onto the job, different light of the room, and you could see shadowing. Shadowing where the roller was, shadowing under the coving. The white ceiling was fine. That had covered lovely for two coats, but the walls hadn't covered for two coats. And you just think to yourself, in this day and age, this isn't cheap paint. Why isn't white paint covering over an off-white color for two coats? So I'm moaning, but I need somebody to talk to. I need to vent my anger that why aren't manufacturers making paint that's white that can cover for two coats now I tell you times money we don't do cheap jobs we price we have quality materials are we better just to buy contract matte emulsion get it coated up for two coats and then walking away from the job and getting paid and thinking nothing of it we don't do that, we want the best we can get, we want the best products. This is supposed to be a really good product. Yeah, we're brilliant on ceilings, and this isn't a ceiling paint, this is a wall paint. We've got no flashing, no roller marks, no nothing on the ceiling, big, big lounge. To the walls, doesn't cover for two. So we had just under an hour, turvis this morning, whipping round, recutting in and re-rolling the walls. Fingers crossed, they're all right. And I think they are, because we've left this afternoon and they look a lot better. Now, I've got another room to do in this. And what did I have to do? Because I wanted to know that it was covering, I brushed it. Literally, I got a four inch brush and I brushed it top to bottom. Rolled the ceiling, because that was white. The walls were slightly off and I brushed it. Now, it's unheard of in the year 2021. 20, I mean, I do it because I know that brushing a wall will get you a better coverage than doing cutting in with a brush and then rolling. Because I wanted to get it covering for two coats. I've got it covering for two coats of this by brushing it. Now, thankfully, as I say, no roller marks, no brush marks, no nothing. It flows out great. And I would say it's a good product for that. If you're going over something white, two coats is fine but why isn't this a quality product covering for two coats you tell me i mean i know you're going to say to me phil just buy cheap contract emulsion it covers for two coats 20 quid a tin 10 litres top i bet this is nearer 100 it must be because optima 5 is about 80 
What's Optima 5? 80, 90, 100 pound a tin for a 10 litre, I don't know. But this is supposed to be good. Yeah, it is good, it goes on lovely. And the second coat of your coating up over yourself, there's no pulling, it's not dragging, it goes on smooth. Great finish, no brush marks, flows out nice, no fatty edges, great. But it's not covering. Manufacturers, please listen to me. Your white paints have got no body in them to cover for two coats. Now, if somebody's going to turn around and comment, because we're like smashing the like button, bell, comments, if somebody's going to tell me there's a brand of paint that's on a par with this that covers for two coats and can hand on heart say it covers over different colours other than white for two coats, tell me. Tell me how much it is, tell me where you get it from, because at the minute, can you tell them a bit annoyed? Three coats, shouldn't be three coating. We price up for decent quality paint. We're not doing cheap jobs with cheap paint. And what am I, what am I doing? Three coating. You don't allow for three coats when you're pricing a job. And I know people say, oh, that's why you estimate. No, you don't estimate. Nobody makes any money doing your estimates when you've got to be adding on, because you won't be adding on, will you? You won't be charging an extra hour on that job. No, you price for the job. We've managed to whip it out in an hour, so we're covering ourselves. But no. That's not right. Why aren't people manufacturing paints that cover for two, that are there for the trade? Because at the minute, all I'm seeing is Mickey Mouse, and I'll say Mickey Mouse, no, no disrespect to, well, Mickey Mouse himself, or Disney, but there's, there's proper DIY paints that cover better than trade paints. What do we do? You tell me. There is a product that I will praise. I mean, I'm not, not praising this. Two coats over a white ceiling is fine. But there is a product I will praise. And some of you are going to go, yay! I'm not on about French Chic, because we've done that video a um, few days ago. French Chic, really like it. Not sure whether it to be up to the standard of doing a big ceiling. I'm out to suggestions whether I should do that or not, maybe. But let me tell you, what is a good pain? And we'll do a review on this on another another video. Jono's water-based. It's the advanced. This is the undercoat. It covers brilliantly. It's got proper body to it. Now, what goes over this? That's really nice. Water-based gloss. We all laugh about water-based gloss. Gloss not having any body to cover. I tell you what. If you've never tried this, try it. Because if you've been used to oil-based paints, this is the nearest thing I've seen to a finish that's an oil-based white gloss. Now, I know you're going to say, Phil, it's actually a hybrid. I know it's a hybrid, but it's the nearest you're going to get to a water-based product that gives you the depth of sheen, shine, gloss as an oil-based product. So, these have got the coverage. Should I be dropping onto Jono's for me emulsion? Do Jono's do a quality emulsion that's on a par with Ticarilla's Optiva 5s and these that can cover in two coats? Are you using that product? Am I missing out on something? I don't know. It's a hard one, isn't it? Do you be, are you chopping and changing every verse send because you find a better product? It's not easy, is it, to be chopping and changing? But at the minute, this great product if you're going over white it's not a great product if you're going over white and it's in a boiler room where you've got all the dirt of the boiler that's made it all like grey on the walls no if you've got a white ceiling and you freshen it up with that brilliant but an off-white colour and it's not covered for two nice brush nice roller not covered for two something wrong somewhere what am I going to do Tell me what I should be doing, because at the minute I'm falling out of love. See you on the next one. Over and out.